Hi pandas, it's Mrs. Stewart, and today in social studies we are going to be learning about the Pledge of Allegiance. And the Pledge of Allegiance is very important to our country, the United States of America. Today in our lesson we're going to be learning what the Pledge of Allegiance is, we can practice it, and then we're also going to learn what it means. So before I say the Pledge of Allegiance for you guys, I want to show you a picture. Now this picture right here shows a handful of students. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six kiddos. Six of them getting ready to say the Pledge of Allegiance and they're all standing under the flag. Now, when a lot of people say the Pledge of Allegiance, they have a flag right by them and they can look at the flag while they say the Pledge of Allegiance. But they're also doing something else. They have their right hand and they're putting it over their heart. So when I practice the Pledge of Allegiance with you all today, I'm going to put my hand over my heart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to read and then we're going to go through some slides to practice it in different pieces because that's a lot of information to learn. So we're going to go through different slides that have it broken up and then we're going to learn what it even means. Okie doke. So I am going to share with you the Pledge of Allegiance poster. Now, while I get started, remember I start with my right hand over my heart. This is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And that's the Pledge of Allegiance. So we are going to practice today the Pledge of Allegiance. And this is something you can do at home. Maybe you can practice with your siblings if you've got some siblings at home, or maybe your mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, anybody. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to pull up some of my slides that I made for you. Now these slides talk about the Pledge of Allegiance. And just to be silly, I added these words in the colors of the American flag. We have red, white, and blue in the background. Okay, so we're going to practice slow down a little bit, and then we'll go through what it all means. The first is, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Your turn. I pledge allegiance to the flag. What I also like to do when I'm learning the Pledge of Allegiance is break it up and then leave a blank at the end. So I might say the first couple words and then you get to fill in the blank. So I pledge allegiance to the flag. Very good. And you see that picture right there. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Okay. Of the United States of America. Now your turn of the United States of America. Very good. Now, we're gonna do fill in the blank of the United States of, of America. That's where we live, great job. And to the Republic for which it stands. Now to remember this, you can stand up, right? And to the Republic for which it stands, your turn and to the republic for which it stands. Very good. Now we're going to do fill in the blank. And to the republic for which it stands. Good job. One nation under God. Your turn. One nation under God. Very nice. Indivisible with liberty. Holy cannoli. That is a big word, do not worry, we will go through it, okay? Indivisible with liberty, your turn. Indivisible, very good, with liberty and justice for all. And justice for, for all, very good, pandas. So now let's talk about what this all means. There are some very big words. There are a lot of big words, or just a lot of words, right? And I don't even really know what it all means. Do you? Let's go through it together. So 
The first part says, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay. So it basically means that you promise your support. Allegiance is support. So I pledge is like a promise. I promise my support to the United States of America, and that is the country that we live in. Now, the United States, well, it says to the flag. So in our flag, we've got how many stars? Does anybody remember? Starts with five and zero, 50 stars. So the flag, which is all of the 50 states that make up our country. Now the next section in blue says, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Okay. So it talks about supporting the government. So supporting the people who are in charge. Now in a few weeks, or maybe next week, we're going to be talking about the president and a little bit about what goes on in our country. So support the government and also knowing that a country cannot be divided. That's pretty cool, huh? So a country cannot be divided. Now the last section says with liberty and justice for all. Hmm. Okay. Liberty and justice for all. So it's made up of people that have freedom and it's also a country that is fair, right? And also one of my favorite parts at the end of this is that no matter who you are, no matter what you believe in, or no matter what you look like, you will receive that liberty, freedom, and justice, right? So there will be fairness and freedom for you. So that's pretty special. That's a lot of information though. And I really appreciate you guys hanging in there for this. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the top again and we're gonna practice it one more time. Feel free to read along with me. Feel free to um, respond after I say it, right? You can say the words, repeat after me, or feel free to just listen, okay? So the Pledge of Allegiance. You can put your hand over your heart. So you're gonna do this, very good. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And that's the end of the Pledge of Allegiance. You all did such an amazing job joining me today, and I'm so excited to learn with you more this week. So what we talked about in our social studies lesson was the Pledge of Allegiance, right? So learning a little bit about the Pledge of Allegiance and practicing it and really understanding what it all even means. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.